All right, so I'm gonna go over Zercher or Bear Hug carries. So sometimes on our workout programming, and I definitely recommend it to you, would be adding in some Zercher work or some Bear Hug work. So what a Zercher carry is, and it can be done with a barbell, is you're gonna lift and you're gonna put the barbell in the crack of your elbow and hold it. So instead of holding it in your hands, you're just holding it close to your body in that elbow, uh, in the bottom, keeping it braced. So it's also the same as bear hug. If you grab something and hold it and brace, it's very similar to bear hug. So holding it, bracing, holding something close to your body, and then you can, you can hold it and walk, or you can just stand and static hold it. So that would be the bear hug. And an example of using the Zercher hold, you can use it with a barbell or a sandbag, a heavy log. But if you hold it in this fashion, that would be a Zercher hold or a Zercher carry. When you're in that position, bear hugging or holding it Zercher, you can squat, you can walk, uh, you can do some good mornings. There's different exercises you can do, but what I, I really like to add them is it really teaches you to brace your core all the way around. So you hear the term engaging your core, working your core. Typically people, when they say working their core, they're talking about their abs, but really it's about bracing all the way around from your low back, all the way around uh, your ribs and your stomach and holding tight to protect your spine so that you're carrying a load and it's not just moving around any way you want. You're controlling, you're bracing. A lot of people are familiar with bracing for one rep when they're lifting something heavy. They take a breath and they squat heavy, take a breath, brace. Maybe they're wearing a belt and they breathe into the weightlifting belt as they deadlift. And that's fine, most people can do that for one rep, but really something you should practice is grabbing something heavy, again, bear hug hold or zercher hold, and taking like a 50 foot walk or a 100 foot walk while you're braced. So while you can do it for one rep, it does take some practice to be braced and continue to breathe when you're fatigued. So even if you're tired, maybe you're doing it as part of a cir circuit or, um, you know, some kind of a Metcon workout where now you have to come and pick up something heavy, brace, control your breathing, continue to protect your back while you're walking. So that's why I like to add Zercher carries and bear hug carries. So whenever uh, we program Zercher work or you want to try some other uh, exercises to make sure that you're braced, especially for being a well-rounded athlete, specifically a tactical athlete, you really want to be able to lift brace and carry for a distance, whether it's dragging or walking. So uh, let me know if that helps you out a lot. If you have any more questions, you can watch some of the other videos with demonstrations on other carries and Zercher and Bear Hug walks or carries.